Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. For those of you who do not know me, you may know us, our troop, from our international <laughs> debut on the YouTubes. <laughs> Seen in Costa Rica <laughs> recently. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> so we have been seen internationally. If you haven't been here before, welcome to our third week where we endeavor to bring artistic interpretation to the text. To bring the text alive in your soul. Oh, that was new. <laughs> This week is no different. We bring an interpretation that will change the very way you look at today's story. Sort of. <laughs> Let me introduce our actors this morning. Yes, of course. Jordan, please come forward. Jason, yes, please. Kathy. Yes, there you are. Please help us. You know, today I'm going to bring forth the show. Please join us. Give <laughs> One more. Where is Cynthia? She's... Cynthia, oh. please be here. Cynthia, oh. not here. Great. Sure. Come on down. <laughs> Yay. Going to introduce our characters. <laughs> the iPad is useful when you use paper. <laughs> Elijah will be Jordan Stacy. <laughs> Ahab will be Jason. Do I get to wear a peg leg? Not then. <laughs> Ahab. <laughs> Different Ahab. <laughs> no peg leg. Obadiah today will be Kathleen. Oh, yes, Kathleen. <laughs> Mary Margaret, why don't you be the Baal prophet? Yes! Seems fitting. <laughs> and I am pleased to say that Cheryl Huffman will be reprising a role she created many years ago, Jezebel! <laughs> Jezebel, now we need your help today to help us further our story along. When you see Elijah, I need you to cheer for our hero, Elijah! back, you're kind of waffling, you're not actually applauding, I don't see any cheering. One more time. When you see Elijah, you cheer. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. When you see Jezebel, boo and hiss with all your might. <laughs> so we have K-N-I-G-H-T <laughs> of Elijah. Begin our story. Welcome, Elijah fans. Today, we find Elijah sitting deep in his own thoughts when suddenly... After many days, the word of the Lord came to me, Elijah! <laughs> Say, go, present yourself to Ahab, and I will put rain on the earth. So, I went to present myself <laughs> to Ahab. The famine was severe in Samaria. Meanwhile, back in Samaria, I, Ahab, summoned Obadiah, who is in charge of the palace. I summoned thee. Poof, and here I am. Now I, Obadiah, revered the Lord greatly, and when J 
Jezebel. <laughs> when Jezebel was killing off the prophets of the Lord, I found 100 of them and hid them, 50 to a cave, providing them with bread and water. Both Ahab and Obadiah were getting ready to use their super speed to go across the country when... Well, I said to Obadiah, go through the land to all the springs of water and all the wadis. Perhaps we may find grass to keep the horses and mules alive so that we do not lose the animals. So we divided the land between ourselves to pass through it. I went in one direction. And I went in another direction. And when I was on the way, the prophet Elijah met me. Oh, I recognized him. And I fell before him, saying, Is it you, my Lord Elijah? And Elijah, pulling back the mask on his face to reveal his secret identity, <laughs> said, It is I. Choose your bull and prepare it first. 
For you are men, afterward call on the name of your God, but do not set fire to it yourself. So he took the bull that was given to us, and prepared it, and called on the name of Baal. 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 <laughs> From morning till noon, crying, Oh, Baal, answer us! <laughs> there was no voice and no answer. We limped about the altar that we had made. <laughs> At noon, I mocked them. <laughs> Cry aloud! <laughs> well, of course he's a god. Maybe he's just meditating. <laughs> or he's wandered away. <laughs> or maybe he's gone on a journey. <laughs> maybe he went to sleep. <laughs> that needs to be woken up. Oh, this day that you are God of Israel. 